Yesterday, I went on a rambling monologue about college football. After having had time to think about it, I think I will put my thoughts far more succinctly. If Brian Kelly and Lincoln Riley can command $100 million plus contracts to coach LSU and USC, if there really is that kind of money floating around, then the creation of a junior NFL is inevitable. As the top talent is pulled to the most moneyed programs, those programs will want to get the greatest return on investment, which means more marquee matchups and less matchups between uh, USC and whatever scrub out in the Pac-12 they like to beat on, Oak Colorado perhaps. It'll mean less marquee matchups between uh, LSU and Vanderbilt, or for that matter between the SEC and most of the Big 12, Pac-12, and all of the Group of Five conferences. Essentially, the SEC, minus a few of its lower tier football performers, the Big Ten East, and a smattering of other teams that are able to afford the top talent are going to form their own league, leave the NCAA, and compete with the NFL. And I think experience has taught us that There's only two things that happen when you compete with the NFL. One, you go out of business. Two, you're the AFC, excuse me, the AFL, and you become the AFC. What we're really looking at is the emergence of a third NFL conference. A conference that the NFL doesn't want, but one they're going to get. And with that in mind, it's only a matter of time before the players that play in the Super Conference are going to be paid on par with NFL superstars. I hope the rich donors at LSU and USC are ready to shell out millions of dollars a year to pay Spencer Rattler types to play football. I know that if I had Elon Musk kind of money, I sure as hell wouldn't spend it on paying a 19-year-old $20 million a year to move a football up and down the field.